what are you doing in Ghana? I'm like, vacation? Party? And I don't think they understand what is going on here. I'm from Switzerland, but I'm also Indian, but I live in London. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. You know, there is no doubt that foreigners have fallen in love with Ghana. We all know since 2019, when this year of return thing started and people were coming in, there are a lot of people that didn't really know much about Africa until it was sold to them through the year of return and the testimonies from a lot of people since that time has actually gone very wide and a lot of people are now beginning to understand that Africa is not like the way they were told. So I've seen that a lot of people are actually coming to Africa, being the black Americans, the black Europeans, the white people themselves, everybody's just coming to Africa. And the country that actually made this possible is Ghana, you know, and Ghana has actually been the center of all diasporans coming into the continent. And looking at how things are going, I am not sure that this is going to end anytime soon because if you want the evidence, it's on social media and social media is here to stay. Videos are on YouTube, videos are on TikTok, videos are on Facebook and every place. And in this day and age, if you want to go to a place anywhere, even if you are a solo traveler, your best option is for you to do what's do your research online to know the best places and also the risk the pros and the cons and all these things you know so i've actually seen a lot of people coming into the country and today is no different i'm here to share with you some foreigners who have been into the country or have been to ghana and they have fallen in love with the country ghana and they can't stop talking about ghana let's watch these videos come back and talk why do I prefer Ghana to the Western world? Well, the first reason is peace. As I've gotten older, I value tranquility over pretty much anything else. And if you've lived in the Western world, you probably don't know what it's like to live in peace. Let me explain. We have all of this social division in the Western world. Every time you turn on the news, something is there to get you angry. And when you talk to people, even if you ignore the news, they're angry from what they saw and it just spills over into conversations. Can you believe we're in a country where people can't come together on Thanksgiving dinner without worrying about a political argument? That's something, and even though there's problems everywhere in the world, I don't really see that in Ghana. I don't see that permeating every aspect of their life. If I was to make a analogy, what is it like going to Ghana from America? It would be like you're in an office building. You work in an office building, and there's this really loud hum from the air conditioning system. And it's really annoying at first, but you just get used to it and it becomes white noise. And you forget how annoying it is. And then you go to an office where that noise isn't there. And suddenly it's like, wow, this is how things are supposed to be. And to me, this is more important than any business or anything financial. It's just being around people where you can have genuine conversations and you're just not dealing with this social division that permeates Western culture. The Western world is supposed to be so great, but how many people have to be on antidepressants in the Western world? How many people need to turn to illegal and legal substances to relax after a hard day's work? It's not to say there aren't problems in Ghana, but it's so much less common than it is in the Western world. And the business isn't bad either. There's a lot of opportunity in Ghana because Ghana is a rapidly growing and rapidly developing region. If you're making it big in America, that's great. I do well for myself in America as well. But you're always going to be just a cog in the machine. If you want to really leave a mark, if you want to build a business that matters, it's a lot easier to do that in Ghana. So I don't hate the Western world. I've lived here for a great portion of my life. But if you're asking me what I prefer, I prefer the lifestyle of Ghana. So I hope that's of value to you. and helps you understand why I prefer to do business in Ghana. So my name is International Hannah and I'm from Chicago. I am in Ghana living my best life and really pursuing my dreams. I always feel like Ghana is the place that has welcomed me to pursue any dream that I have and that's why I'm here doing it. And what dreams are you fulfilling? 
Right now, I am fulfilling the dreams of being a matchmaker, connecting the diaspora with Africa, bridging the gap between the two to find love just like I did. Well, Ghana has always been a place that has made me feel welcome. From the moment that I came to Ghana, I always felt like the doors were open, the people were welcoming, and the opportunities were just everywhere. And so it was just a place that I felt I could come and I could really put my skills to use and see the growth for myself, but also help to grow Ghana within itself in the economy. Ooh, what type of food do I like in Ghana? Hmm, I had a lot of jollof, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to say that, but I know my number one is Kele Wele. I love Kele Wele, it's so good, but only when it's ripe. If you're thinking about coming to Ghana, stop thinking and just come. You have to just make the move. Um, and, and I don't mean you have to actually move here, but you should just get up and just go. Like, don't think too much about it. Don't, don't think too deep into it. Don't plan too far around it. Just book that flight and come on, sis. Come on, brother. You're going to love it. See, I've always said this, that if you have money in Africa, in Ghana, for instance, traveling abroad is for me not an option. Perhaps you can decide to travel abroad, maybe for holidays, have fun, visits families and friends. And for me, that's one thing that I always say, because looking at the kind of freedom that you get, you are not being taxed so much. And when it comes to having people to talk to, it's easier in Africa or in Ghana than the Western world. We all know if you are someone who have been abroad for many years, you can attest to this fact that some people, from what I have heard, some people, I have not experienced it though, but this is what I have heard. Some people can live in the same apartment and they will not know themselves for like three years, five years. And none of them will be talking to each other till like, how can you live in a place like this? You see, this is one thing that makes Africa so different from the rest of the world because we are humans, you know, you have to have a conversation with each other. You have to live as a people. Everything shouldn't be about work, 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 home, work, home, work, home, work, home. It's not nice. And I feel like that's the reason why a lot of Americans or Europeans, when they come to Africa and they see the freedom, they just fall in love with the continent. The only problem I will say is in Africa is you finding something to do, a work. So that's why many a times I say, if you are coming from the, from the Western world, America, UK, Europe, wherever, make sure you have a job. Because Africa doesn't have jobs. That is a fact. Africa doesn't have jobs. So it's either you come in with your capital, come and set up a business, or you can work remotely. There are a lot of remote works that you can do whilst you are in Africa. Perhaps you'll be doing it and earning in dollars and you are in Africa. I'm, t I'm telling you, you will be fine living in Africa, especially Ghana. Because that's where I am and I, what I know or where I know that you can live comfortably. It's a beautiful place, I must say. And anyone who wants to come to Africa, you are welcome. Just listen to what all these guys were saying. It's so, it's so heartwarming. So as I said... Coming to Africa is one of the best trips that you can ever make for yourself and for your sanity. Feel free. I know that when it comes to infrastructure wise, we are not up there yet to the standards of Europe and America and all these places, but you have your peace of mind. You can buy a land and own it. These are the things. So, hey, thank you so much for watching and I'm hoping to see you in Africa someday. Thank you.